Elise McVeigh is the founder of Mrs. McVeigh's Manners, Manners expert and columnist for Parents Magazine and the Dallas Morning News. Elise is going to talk today about the correct way to meet and greet people, how to set a table, the proper table etiquette, being gracious, must have tools, and how soon we should be teaching our children and our young people about manners. Uh, Elise, Thank you for speaking to us, Manners. I think, you know what? Oh, you look gorgeous sitting there, I might add. You look like a princess. Thank you. I feel like a princess. <laughs> you know, I think uh, manners are somewhat going by the wayside when it comes to raising, our, e even with adults today. Uh, what is your take on that? Yes, I actually saw a survey recently online that said 70% of Americans feel that we're ruder than we were 20 years ago. So what that's saying to me is we are not having good manners, um, you know, as adults. And so it's starting with kids that they're just not having very good manners. So we need to do more as parents. Meeting and greeting people, proper way to do that. All right, so kids, what I've learned uh, with all the kids that I've put through my manners classes, mm -hmm. and I have children myself, children love to play so little girls go through a great princess phase and mm, boys yeah. you know dinosaurs or sports <laughs> figures and so if you can role play with them then it's it's a great thing to do so for example meeting and greeting um, you know a lot of girls for example love Barbie so let's say that I wanted to meet my daughter and she's gonna be Barbie I'd say hi I'm Elise McVeigh nice to meet you and she could say hi I'm Barbie nice to meet you too I'd say oh Barbie you have a very clear and confident voice you had a very nice handshake and you have have very good eye contact. So then she thinks that we're playing and that we're not learning manners, which just doesn't sound appealing to kids. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. But in essence, you are learning manners. You are teaching them manners by going yes. through the play. Uh, setting a table, proper way to set a table and table etiquette. And you can do that through play also, can't you? Yes, absolutely. Something that I've used in my classes is a table uh, a place setting that already has everything on there oh, so yeah. you can say to your children please set the table and when they do they'll already know where everything goes and you'd be surprised how quickly they learn how to set the table without even needing a placemat like this that so it's just a great thing to know and then you is that your then invention? You that's a the, great uh, the uh, table manager them. that's a great idea thanks. Elise I just have to say that's ingenious thanks thanks Thank you, thanks. <laughs> there you, Bar you can go to barbie.com and look at theirs. Uh -huh. And um, also Mrs. McVeigh's manners.com. And we have products like this that just really are good for helping parents. And you just exhibited good manners there uh, when you said thank you. And we teach pro uh, children to say thank you, please, may I, uh, the whole gamut of the gracious ways to acknowledge someone. And you just did that when we were talking because you said thank you. Well, thank you again. Well, not saying that I, I have good I manners. I mean, and that's a right. We're but, role you know, modeling, is what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But yeah, and you know what? And you know, just make it as fun as you can. Um, kids also love checklists. Um, they mm -hmm. love using stickers. So I have a chart that they can use. That that they, you know, it's just once again a way that you remind them what good manners are. And if they are just checking off with a marker, oh, or they're yeah. putting a sticker on it whenever they've said please or thank you or good behavior, then you're saying to them, oh yeah, these are good manners, this is important and I'm rewarding you. You know, playing with uh, the Barbie dolls, they can have conversations of how to have good manners with each other. Just make it playing and just fun. They just think that it's just the best thing ever. Elise, I think you should ha have classes for adults also. Maybe you do. Have you thought about that? <laughs> I have, I have, and, and I, of course, I have taught adults. Um, but you know what? It's just not as fun because <laughs> adults, you can role play with them, but <laughs> they just, I don't know. I, I just like working with kids. Oh, for some it, reason. it's wonderful. I love what you're doing. Elise, where can they find out more information about you, what you do, where you do it, and the whole group? Okay, um, this is McVeigh's Manners.com and also Barbie.com. Um, on my site, we have camps and classes as well as different mm -hmm. tools and products. And just, you know, if, as an adult, if you never took a manners class and you're a little unsure on some things, then you can go to my site and learn, and then you can teach your kids. Yes, thank you, Elise, very much for talking to us. Well, thanks. Have a good day. <laughs> you do also. There you have it.
That's a great idea. I think we're losing that in today's society right now. We're losing correct etiquette and manners. And I think what Elise is doing is much needed in, in our world today, not only with young people, but with adults also. Uh, when we come back, it's Yavapai.